Hello guys, welcome to Anchor of Hope. Anchor of Hope will serve as a daily discovery of the hope of the world. And the anchor of our soul, who is Jesus Christ, our Lord. Especially at this most challenging time. Anchor of Hope will follow through the daily passages of our daily bread, Annual Edition Volume 27 or for the year 2024. I will provide my daily insights and thoughts about the daily bread reading in hopes and prayer that it may reach out to you and touch your life. This I pray that you will find the Anchor of Hope today. We are now in Daily Bread Day 15 and our passage for today is Psalm 42 verses 1 to 11. So I will be reading from the NIV version. As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, my God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? My tears have been my food day and night when people say to me all day long, Where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I used to go to the house of God under the protection of the mighty God, with shouts of joy and praise among the festive throng. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise Him, my Savior and my God, my soul is downcast within me, therefore I will remember you. From the land of the Jordan, the heights of Hermon, from Mount Mazar. Deep calls to deep in the roar of your waterfalls. All your waves and breakers have swept over me. By day the Lord directs his love, at night his song is with me. A prayer to the God of my life. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why must I go about mourning, oppressed by the enemy? My bones suffer mortal agony as my foes taunt me, saying to me all day long, Where is your God? Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise Him, my Savior and my God. One again, as the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, my God. As an animal thirsts for the water in the wilderness, so is our soul who longs and seeks for God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? Our soul yearns for God and our soul should seek God. God is a living God. God is not dead. God is really alive. When can I go and meet with God? Actually, we can meet God anytime and anywhere. God is everywhere and He is available all the time. My tears have been my food day and night while people say to me all day long, Where is your God? We are all suffering and it has been a part of our daily lives. We have all been crying day and night. There will be people who will persecute you and mock you that you have no God. However, we are called to hold steadfast into His love and have faith in God. 1 Corinthians 15.58 Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I used to go to the house of God under the protection of the Mighty One, with shouts of joy and praise among the festive throng. 
every time we give ourselves to God, we will experience joy and gladness while shouting praises in the middle of crowded people. It's like we are always having a party with people in God's presence. That's why we have to pour out ourselves to God to experience such great joy and happiness. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise Him, my Savior and my God. You don't have to be down or depressed all the time. You don't have to be bothered or disturbed all your life. You just have to hope in God always and praise Him, for He is our Savior and our God. My soul is downcast within me, therefore I will remember you from the land of the Jordan, the heights of Hermon from Mount Mizar. Our souls can be get disappointed and sad from time to time. However, we have to remember God from the land of the Jordan, the heights of Hermon from Mount Mizar. Now where is this place and what is this place? Mount Mizar is a small mountain or hill near the more spectacular Mount Hermon, according to Wikipedia. The verse reveals that God is present from a small marked mountain or to an enormous smart mountain. God is saying He is basically everywhere. That's why we should never be sad always. Deep calls to deep in the roar of your waterfalls. All your waves and breakers have swept over me. God calls us deeper into our hearts. His call is strong and loud like the roar of the waterfalls. All your waves and breakers, meaning all of God's outpouring, overflowing blessings, will sweep your problems and worries away. By day the Lord directs His love. At night His song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. By the day we should allow God to guide us in His love and care. At night His song or lullaby will put you to sleep. That should be our prayer always to God, who is the God of our life. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why must I go about mourning oppressed by the enemy? Sometimes we seek God who is our rock and our firm foundation. Sometimes we must go through something. Sometimes we must mourn. Sometimes we are being oppressed by the enemy. My bones suffer mortal agony as my foes taunt me, saying to me all day long, Where is your God? Our body also suffer in agony until we grow weary. Our foes will insult us and taunt us, always asking, Where is your God? God is everywhere, but sometimes we cannot feel God. Why? Because God allowed these things. So why does God allow these things? Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise Him, my Savior and my God. Sometimes in life we have to feel down. We have to be troubled so that we will put our very hope to God. The Bible is reminding us to praise Him always, for He is our Savior and our God. Conclusion and Application in life, there are times we must go through suffering. We must experience the sadness, the pain, and the oppression of the enemy because God allowed these things to happen to you so that you will get back to Him and know that He is God. God wants you to experience that He is the only one who can bring you out from those long sufferings, from the sadness and sorrow, and from the tiring pains in life. Only God can bring you out from your enemies and prove to your enemies that, you exi that He exists. No matter how much or how long the enemy taunts you, only God can defeat them and show His presence to them that He exists and He is a living God. There was a time I experienced searching for God. I went everywhere and searched high and low for Him until I was desperate for Him because I was depressed. God soon made me realize He just let go of my hand to help me understand He was with me all along. 
God allowed me to experience depression and desperation for Him to fully understand that He was with me always. God is also with you always, in your tears and in your joy. God is with you. God is also everywhere, from the smallest mountain to the tallest mountain. I would like to end this Bible study with a question. Where are you, God? Let us pray. Dear God, our Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you again for this message, dear God. Lord, you are everywhere, O oh God. Thank you for reminding us and for telling us. Lord, may we find you everywhere and anywhere we go. Please be with us always, Lord, dear God, as you promised us. In Christ's most precious name I pray. Amen.